Welcome to your Human Anatomy Hybrid course with me, your professor, Cynthia Sanchez. Today I'm going to be just going over the basics of the course and how to navigate it to give you a nice introduction and get you off on the right foot. Let's get started. When you go to the Copper Mountain College homepage, you can log in to your MyCMC portal here. Enter your username and password, then select Canvas. Then you can select the Biology 22 Human Anatomy course. When you open up the campus page, it will default to the syllabus. Here you will find valuable information needed for this course. The best way to reach me is via email at csanchez at cmccd.edu. The lab manual is optional but highly recommended, and the textbook is required. Here is a breakdown of the points available for this course. There will be 12 discussion assignments worth 5 points each, 24 chapter quizzes worth 15 points each, 2 lecture midterms worth 50 points each, 1 lecture final exam worth 50 points, 1 clinical case study and PowerPoint worth 30 points total, 10 lab worksheets worth 5 points each, 5 lab practical exams worth 50 points each, and 5 lab quizzes at 20 points each. The total points available for this course is 1,000, and we follow the standard grading scale. Our week begins on Friday. I've just decided to call this week zero because it's not a full week. So for week zero, you don't have anything due. You just need to watch this welcome video. I also recommend looking over Canvas and getting familiar with the course and the course syllabus. Most of the weeks look rather similar. For example, week one will have an online lecture component and an in-person laboratory component. For the online lecture component, most weeks will cover two chapters and you will be required to do a quiz on each chapter and one discussion assignment. For the laboratory portion, we meet in person on Tuesdays from noon to 3.05 p.m. Lab assignments include online lab worksheets, in-person laboratory quizzes, and in-person laboratory practical exams. The in-person quizzes and practical exams will take place during our lab meeting. The best way to navigate this course is to click on Modules. Clicking on Modules, you will see a PDF of a laboratory manual. Your laboratory worksheet assignments have been taken directly from the laboratory manual. You will also have a convenient link to the course calendar to help you keep track. For week zero, you have the welcome message and this video that you can review again at any time. Starting week one, click on the first link of the module. This page gives you the chapter learning objectives. Clicking on next will bring you to the chapter study guide or PowerPoint. This can be viewed online or can be downloaded by clicking on the link here. Clicking on next, will bring you to the Chapter 1 videos. These were created by me and designed specifically for this course. When you are ready, you can then take the Chapter 1 quiz. Chapter quizzes will involve 15 multiple choice questions. The quizzes are generated automatically through the textbook publisher. For this reason, you're going to want to make sure that you read the chapters thoroughly to help you with this. These quizzes have no time limit, and in addition, there are unlimited attempts. However, because I have it set up this way, in order to ensure academic integrity, the answers are not automatically given when you submit. If you would like to see the answers, you can request them after the due date by sending me an email. Clicking on Next will bring you to the second chapter of the week. As you see, we have objectives and another study guide for you, as well as a chapter two video made just for you, so please do watch them, and the chapter two quiz. This quiz is in the same format as the Chapter 1 quiz. Clicking on Next, we get to the Week 1 discussion question. Each week, we'll have a discussion question. Using your text, you are to read the Chapter 1 clinical case study and answer the questions in the discussion board. There is a 250 word minimum, so be sure to answer the questions completely and clearly using your own words in order to get full credit. Clicking on Next brings you to the laboratory portion. Here, we see that there is a laboratory worksheet that is due. In order to complete this assignment, you will click on the link provided and download that lab worksheet 
to your computer and open it. I have converted these worksheets to be fillable online. Our section number is 40E. For multiple choice questions, I've added either checkboxes or bullet points. So you can just click on the one that you think is correct, like so. There's only one correct answer. Next, you'll match the directional terms with its correct definition. Again, you can type in the boxes provided. Many of these worksheets will include pictures and images that you must label. You can just label by hovering your cursor over one of the boxes and simply typing. If you have any issues, you can also just print it out, complete it by hand, and upload photos or scans of your documents. Lab worksheets do not have to be done in lab. You can do those on your own time, and they are due at the end of the week, on Sundays by 11.59 p.m. Let's look at our in-person laboratory assignments. Your first laboratory quiz will be on February the 8th. This will cover everything we covered in lab the week prior. The quiz will be given in person during the first 10 minutes of lab. Images will be projected onto a screen, and you will need to identify the tissue type. You will be provided with a study guide in order to prepare. This is a free response quiz where you will simply write your answers on a blank sheet of paper. Going back to modules, you will also see that this course has three practical exams. Practical exams are free response, and answers will be recorded on a blank piece of paper. Stations will be set up around the room with various microscopes and slides and anatomical models. Each station will have two questions. You will have one minute to answer each of the questions. So I hope that this tutorial gives you a good start to the course. I've tried to make it very streamlined and easy to follow. I really look forward to meeting all of you. And remember, I'm always here to help. Often, the easiest and quickest way to reach me is via email at csanchez at cmccd.edu. I look forward to seeing you all soon. Thank you for watching.